Hello everyone, Yama has released a new series of keyboards, the CK series. In this video, we'll learn about the main features and how these models will look like. My name is Nun Loro and welcome to another Keys Online video. This new model series from Yama is intended to be placed a bit below the CP and YC series with the goal of being more accessible in terms of price and portability. There are two models, the CK61 and the CK88. Talking about price, I can say that I saw prices in online stores around 1,100 euros for the 61 key version and 1,600 euros for the 88 key version, which makes them quite affordable compared to the competition. In terms of weight, the CK61 weighs something like 5.6 kilos and the CK88 weighs 13 kilos, which is also quite nice. And as has become customary with Yamaha's latest releases, these keyboards have their own bags for easy transportation. Also helping the portability statement is that these keyboards have built-in speakers and can run on batteries, which is a great bonus for playing literally anywhere. In terms of features that stand out, besides the speakers and batteries, we have audio input with game control, Bluetooth audio, which allows us to play some backing tracks via Bluetooth, for example, and we have an integrated audio interface. Moving on to more features, we have a GHS keyboard in the 88 key version and the FSB keyboard for the 61 key version, which has been improved. We have the AWM2 sound engine, which is used in the CP and the YC and Montage Modi X with 363 voices. And then we have the possibility of having 160 live sets as also happens on the CP and YC. The keyboard has a polyphony of 128 notes, has integrated effects and the master EQ. In terms of interface, we have a three zone panel uh, in which uh, we have on one side, on the left, the controls for the organ with nine draw bars, vibrato, chorus control and percussion. Then in the central section, we have the selection of sounds and live sets. And this keyboard has three parts to which we can assign any type of sound to any of the parts. A bit like uh, it how the advanced mode works in the CP, but simpler in this case. These parts are defined with different colors and whenever you need to edit a specific part, the keyboard lights up with the color of that part so we can have an exact visual reference of the part we are editing. We also have category search to, to, to make the selection of sounds a bit easier. Uh, and still in this central section, uh, more to the right, we have controls for the filter and resonance, attack and release, which is great uh, and are non-existent on the more expensive CP and YC models, at least with these dedicated controls. And finally, we have the effects section, which has a uh, drive and then effects one and effects two with several effects to choose from. Then also the delay and reverb with various types of delay and reverb to choose from. In terms of sound, from what I could tell, we are talking about a very similar sound to the CP and YC series, since it includes some of the same samples, such as the CFX piano sampler and the same sound bass. Just note that this CK series doesn't have the VCM engine that we have and we can find on the YC. The organ is based on the sound engine of the small YC reface and it has it happens with the YC, we have all the organ control possibilities thanks to the dedicated controls and drawbars. With this series, Yama completes its keyboard lineup and offers options for all tastes, wallets and backs. <laughs> from the small reface to the YC and from the MX series to the montage, there are many options. And this is where I close this video about this new product. I hope you have enjoyed this and the other videos on the channel. If you want to uh, be up to date with all the latest news and latest videos, just subscribe and activate the notifications. Thank you very much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.